Ching dong. Mm. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? My name is Joe. How are you doing there? Hey, Joe. My name's Sean. I'm with the AC Hero. Hey, nice to meet you. You know, thanks for inviting me to your home today. That's so nice of you to call out here. It's so nice of you to say that. It's nice to see somebody who's got gratitude for once. Thank you for coming in. Come into my house, Sean. Thank you, sir. So, Joe, um, what's the reason for our visit today? Right now, there's no airflow going into that second floor. So I was hoping somebody could help us fix that part of it. It's, we just moved to this house from St. Louis to Dallas. And yeah. we spent, you know, 450000 for this house. And that wow. second floor doesn't even cool properly. I'm not sure how they live like that, you know. I'm hoping you take a look at it and tell me what's wrong with it. I just want to find out what's wrong right now. Okay, Joe. Hey, so just to confirm, um, are we just looking at this and not doing any work today? Well, no, I, I want to get it done as soon as possible. I took off work and everything to meet you here. We get this okay, I just want to be sure, um, what are we trying to accomplish today? I got to get this thing fixed, Sean. I took off work and everything like that. So let's go take a look at it, okay, upstairs? All right, great. Go do that. Yeah, I'll start walking up there. Here we go. Watch. Come up my little staircase up there. Go ahead. <laughs> my Dallas house with my spindle staircase and stuff. Go, go, go ahead there. The McMansion I got going here for 350 Go ahead there, Sean. So, Joe, uh, who found the problem? Uh, what was that like? Not, one, one at a time. One at a time. Uh, uh, who, found okay. the, who, found the, who found the problem? What do they say? What was it like? Let's do the who first found the one. Problem? Have some patience with this conversation. Here we go. All right. So, so Joe, who's the one who was who's the one who first figured out that we had this problem? Was there or who's the one whose idea was to get the second floor to cool more properly? Like something like that. Hit me with that. Oh, Joe, uh, who, who's the one that found the the second floor not cooling? Well, it was almost like immediately after we got in the house in April, my wife Julie she realized that this house doesn't cool on the second floor; that it was hotter than heck. I thought it was just her imagination. And uh, she, she's the one who, uh, she, she told me, she's the one who realized it doesn't cool in yet. You know, what uh, did they say? Oh, my God. She said that she wanted to move back to St. Louis. She said that our last house <laughs> cooled perfect. She said it had its own furnace and AC up there. And this house only got the one furnace and AC. And she feels, how do you expect to go to take the air out of our room, bring it down to the garage and cool it and bring it back up here. It's not going to work like that. And uh, these people are idiots in Dallas. They don't know. She was really upset about the heating guys in Dallas. She thinks that they're idiots. She was just upset about the whole thing, you know? Hey, what was that like? Well, it's bad because, I mean, this house costs 100000 more than our house in St. Louis, right? We sold the house for two fifty, bought this for three fifty, and now the heat, the air conditioning doesn't work. And she's really – and then – She's upset because the school systems are different here. The houses are different and there's no basement. We used to have a basement. So you know, she's, I'm just stressed right now because I got stuff I got to do and my wife's not happy. It just makes me sad because I moved to Dallas and I took this new job down here. You see what I'm saying? It's just, just yeah, upset. I know that is, Joe. Hey, you know, I, I know one thing for sure, Joe, that um, your family is pretty lucky to have a dedicated father like yourself. You think so? Yeah, I think so. And not many people would even be concerned like that, Joe. It's so nice that you. Yeah, my pleasure. So, um, is there another company or maybe a friend or family member that normally does your work? Well, I normally, uh, the company that originally did the system, we had a sticker on the furnace. We looked it up. It's called Acme. We had them come out here first to look at it. Okay. I'm glad you have somebody. Um, is there any reason why you didn't call them today? Well, I had him out here already, and it was a joke, actually. Wow. I don't want to get into it, though, because I'm kind of – I'm I'm a Christian man. I don't like talking bad about people, as you can tell, you know? Yeah, I, I totally understand that, Joe. But off the record, so I don't make the same mistake, um, could you tell me kind of what happened off the record? the record? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. I had a guy from Acme, and he kept saying that uh, – he goes, we did 600 homes like that in this neighborhood, and every house is working good. He said, he goes, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to find a way to sue us? He kept worrying about getting sued by us. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to get the thing to cool properly. He goes, he goes well, the builder didn't give, it, give us any inside walls to run ductwork up there, so you, got, you just got what you got. That's just what it is, and that's the best we can do is what we have to work with here. I said, is there, is there anything I do to pay more to get the cooling out there? I'll pay more if I got to get it done. 
He said, I don't care how much you pay. You can't cool the ductwork. Only so much air goes through the ductwork. I said, there's got to be another way. He wouldn't, he wouldn't budge. You know, it was just crazy. I was just, just didn't seem like he knew what he's doing, Sean. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Uh, did you call a manager? I tried to, but he just said that, you know, air, he said air is stupid. He, the air doesn't know that it should go through the ductwork to the second floor. And he said, he said that, you know, it's just the, the way I said, I think you guys are stupid because you should find a way to get the air up there because it's $350,000 house. You should find a way to make it happen, you know? Yeah, there's always a way for sure. So are you sure you don't want to give those, the company a second chance? No, no, I, I've had enough of that. I won't even, uh, my, my wife, after I told her that, she was just livid, just livid. She can't even. Are you sure? Oh my God, she, yeah, she don't want to, we will never deal with them again. She has, uh, she's given up on it 100%. Huh. So how'd you find out about our company, Joe? Actually, uh, we got your name from a friend of ours at work. It was Roger Godwin. He's, I guess he's used AC, AC Hero before on both yes, plumbing and heating and AC. He, he loves you guys. Awesome. Uh, what they say about our level of service? You said that you were really good at your service. And you guys got your stuff down, but you weren't the cheapest company. You're the, not, not, you're not the, you're the best company in all of Dallas, but you weren't the cheapest. He said that. Well, that's great. What else did they say? He said that um, if you want to get the job done right, the AC hero, well, their, their name is appropriate. They will be the hero to find a way to get that second floor. He said, they'll, they'll find a way. They're not, uh, they don't give up. They don't, they're not quitters over there, he said. Cool. Hey, is that okay if I give them a call and tell them thank you? You're going to do that, really? Uh, yes, sir. That's I'll, so nice of you to do that, say, Sean. You know, thank you for saying nice things about my company. That makes me feel good. That's, that's so nice of you to say that. Uh, you want a cup of coffee or something like that or a glass of water? Sure, that'd be great. Get you a glass of water or a cup of coffee? What do you want? A uh, coffee. Get you coffee. I, I already got it made. I'll get you one. You go. Coffee Cup sounds Keurig. good. <laughs> Keurig. Yeah. Get you Keurig. Cream and sugar or just black? Or you like it like? A cream. A cream. Hey, boy, that's a sophisticated way. I'll get that for you right now. That's the St. Louis way. That's what we do it there. So, uh, let's say we got that all going. Let's say you're working on it. Uh, okay, Sean, we'll say you're, I saw you writing a lot of stuff down there before. Wow, that sounds uh, pretty ama amazing. Is it? Is it possible? Did you find any way to help us with this thing at all? What'd you, what'd you come up with here, Sean? Well, I don't like what I'm seeing, but I did find some solutions. What's the problem exactly? What do you find in here? So you cut, what it's called, we call it, we cut you have an airflow in your air distribution system. Oh, shit. My greatest fear is, is why it's asthma. Mm, it's terrible with the asthma and my daughter's eczema too. It both, she, right. we, can't live, we can't live up there like this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but don't worry, I've worked at some premium and economical, I'm sorry, premium, mid-range, and economical choices for you. Good, good, good. You probably won't like that premium, Joe. It's probably too premium for you. It has too much service. Really? We'll see. I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty premium. But don't worry, I got some economical choices toward the bottom, which you probably expected to pay. Okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah, favor, yeah. Joe. I just want you to do what's best for you and your family. Let's do that, yeah. So what do you got here? Something nice and easy? Show me what you got. I'm going to bring it up here for you. So uh, what's that top option called there, Sean? Tell me what that is. So the top option is called the Platinum Joe Stress-Free Total System Renovation. Oh, that sounds good. How are we gonna, what are we going to do here? Tell me how we're going to do that. So this includes fixing the immediate issue. Plus, we're going to add a platinum air filtration system. Hmm. For your current system. Tell me how we're going. What's what's that? Why, why did you do that? So, the, what I was finding in your system, um, it looks like it hasn't had maintenance in, in quite a while. So, you've got a dirty evaporator coil. You got a uh, clogged bore wheel. Hmm. Um, outdoor units full of dirt, and you know, including all your ductwork has a lot of dirt. And I'm, oh, I'm seeing. Those those guys never took care of this house, did they, when they, when they did it? No, apparently they didn't. Jeez, that sounds terrible. Hey, but, you know, this also includes a UV and mold protection system. Mm. Um, I did this because of White and Karen. You know, I just want their home to be safe and healthy to live in. That's nice. I like that. What yeah. else does it have? So it also includes the five-year no-write check warranty 
and service plan, which mm -hmm. is the replacement of the filters and the UV bulbs. I did this, excuse me. <laughs> I did this because of you, John, because you said you were stressed out all the time. So I wanted to total renovate the unit for you for peace of mind for you. I so want this, to is a, this is a big job. It's gonna make me stress-free then you're saying. We're gonna get rid of all the stress? Uh, yes, sir. Wow. That sounds good. How much are we looking at for all this stuff, Sean? What are we talking about? What do you think it would cost? Something like this, Sean. <whistles> Joe. Sounds like about 10% of my house, like 35,000 that we're looking at. Uh, what if I said it was 40,000? That's, that's about right. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. About 40,000? Yeah. No, that's more like 8,000, John. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's not bad. Yeah. Let's look at the rest of the options. What should we do? I need some time to think about this, Sean. Sure, take all the time you need. What should we do? Is this competitive if I shopped around when I find a cheaper price? Uh, Joe, this is a one of a kind uh, option sheet. You won't find anything like it. What should we do? I had to ask, you know. Um, sure, sure. So you expect me to do this today then, you're saying? Mm. If I said I could do it today, Joe, what would happen? Well, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I forgot. I got sucked. Yeah. Okay. If, I said, if you could do it today, Joe, um, what would you say would happen? Yeah, I just get the thing done probably. It's a, uh, can, you email, can you email this one to me and I'll call you back like tomorrow about it? Well, Joe, um, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think option, uh, the platinum option is probably not for you. Do you think we should just go ahead and eliminate that? No, that's my favorite one, Sean. I mean, I spent 350000 for a house. Don't you think 8500 is fair price to get the thing working with a five-year warranty and service? That's, that's a like good a choice. Point. What do you like about it? I mean, the five-year warranty, the service, you're going to seal the ductwork, the electrical renovation, the media. We need that media and UV system. We really need that. Yes, sir. So what should we do? Well, will this, can I at least get the air working? Today's Thursday. Will I at least have this thing cooling the second floor better by uh, by Saturday, you think? Well, if I can make that happen, what do you think would happen next? Yeah, we just get the damn thing done. I just do that one for 8500 You didn't even look at the cheaper options. Nah, I don't want that crap, Sean. I want to get it done. I'm not cheap. I want to get it done right. I like to spend, I like to make sure I get it done. I'm not the most richest person, but I want to make sure I get it done right. Does it make sense? What should we do? Let's do that one for 8500 Sean. How are you going to pay? Credit card or check? Can I use American Express? Well, if I say if I could use an American Express, what would happen next? We just do it because I'm sick of talking about this damn thing. I want it done. So what should we do? Let's get it done. Yay, Sean!